What is up, retro gamers? Welcome back to the Retro Grab Bag Show. So I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm going to start playing through Super Castlevania 4 for the Super Nintendo. Uh, now I played a lot of Symphony of the Night this year. And I wanted to go back to uh, the one on Super Nintendo that isn't Dracula X. Uh, so yes, so we're going to be retro GBS here. So I'm thinking um, as I play through this, each episode, maybe I'll just take out a, or, you know, try to beat a couple stages. So hopefully in this will be the first couple stages. Uh, I'm playing this on the Castlevania Anniversary Collection. Here we go. Uh, on the Xbox One. Uh, yes, so I'll be using the password uh, feature uh, moving forward. So yeah, this should be the first couple stages here. I always love this part of the game. Crossing over the bridge and kicking into amazing music. Get this guy out of there. There we go. Oh, the backwards walk. I'm already doing that, as you can see. Game is famous for that. For whatever reason, they programmed a, <laughs> a moonwalk in there somehow. I don't know why they would do that, but... Yeah, so... This game is famous for... Uh, having some of the best controls in a Castlevania game that is an 8-bit or a 16-bit, right? Um, you can, like, kind of, like, change your flight mid-air, so to speak. Uh, you got the whip right there. Check that out. Um, you can do different things with it, and there should be some parts coming up here where you can, like, swing with it and stuff. Like, it's... This is just a phenomenal game, and... I thought it'd be cool to just play this through for fun and capture it while I'm doing it. Um, but keep keep the episodes to, like, you know, until hopefully I beat it. Um, there's some wall meat for you. <laughs> the famous Castlevania wall meat. Yeah, just keep it to just beating two stages per, uh, per episode here. Um, this is such a good game. Yeah, I'm not trying to do a speedrun or, you know, flawless victory on this, obviously. Because, uh... That would be impossible, but I have beaten this game a bunch of times um, back in the day and more recently, so. It does get a little tough toward the end. It is kind of one of the easier ones, I think, but the, the last few stages do get a little rough. That boss rush. Here we go, see? Ooh, yeah. How do you not love that? <laughs> uh, this is just a blast, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably, here we go, double it up. Ooh. <laughs> I'll probably uh, release these as they're available because I'm just... This is more of a casual playthrough that I'm recording. Uh, uh, Joe and I are getting together soon to record a bunch of um, uh, extra content. I want to give a shout out to Blaine, uh, one of our number one supporters. He just gifted us some cool stuff you will see in a some custom, really custom cool stuff um, that you will see in a forthcoming episode featuring Joe and myself talking about Blaine the Man. Thank you, buddy. All right, so stage one here. I got these idiots falling down from the ceiling here. Watch this, bam. A lot of this is just muscle memory recall. I couldn't, you know what I mean? I couldn't talk to you about this game at a bar, right? I couldn't tell you these things, but <laughs> start playing it. Oh, these idiot horse heads. See, if you get close enough, they don't move. Oh, they don't move. Here, watch. Bam, see? And you got the guy up top. You got this. Yeah, there's there's always stuff on the walls, mostly here on this first stage. But um, get this guy from down. Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh! <laughs> yeah, when you do that with the whip, it's it's less. Uh, it, it it doesn't have as much strength, but you just gotta whip wildly and then get it to where it needs to be. I guess right. So. Um, yeah. I do want to play through uh, Dracula X, so maybe I'll do that at some point. Medusa heads are a lot easier when you have the uh, the time stop. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, see now I'm just getting ahead of myself. I'm talking too much. Oh, I'm gonna die again. Uh, the famous Castlevania knockback is what you saw there. Um. It can be your ultimate doom. <laughs> uh, I get the chicken leg there. What was that? Like a drummy. That was like a KFC. Um, yeah, the knockback. Damn, I can't believe I died already. But so 
so I'll try to talk about this again and not die and play, but here, get that guy. Boom. Um, so, yeah, Dracula X. Um, it's like the Super Nintendo version of Rondo of Blood that isn't that good. I might, yeah, like, if, like, if this works out, I might take the same formula and try to beat Castlevania X. Or, uh, I'm sorry, Dracula X. Because uh, I just haven't played too much of that game, and I'd really like to, so. Here we go, first boss fight. This guy's pretty easy. You know, I've noticed from watching from watching speedruns and stuff in most of the Castlevania games in the 8-bit or 16-bit era. Look at this. See, I'm using the whip. That's all you gotta do. Like, the whip is so effective against these bosses. Now, here we go. Ready? That's how you beat a Castlevania stage. <laughs> uh, you gotta get the pause there, so... Again, this is not a speed run. This is just for fun. Okay, stage two. Here's our map. I'm going to try to get through this one. Shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully, I don't freaking die again. But, you know, that's where we're headed. Let's see. Oh, yes, I remember this. Oh, these things in the ground. God, I can never. It's a little frustrating. Being... Yep, yep. <laughs> it's a little frustrating being in the beginning of this stage. Oh, yeah. The... Is that supposed to be the predator? <laughs> He's, like, invisible. Oh, these spiders. They're in just about every game, too. I know they're in the third one quite a bit. Oh, yes. So, yeah, this whole year has been Symphony of the Night, so I wanted to go back to uh, more of a linear Castlevania, and this is definitely a, gr uh, a great one. Many, many memories on this bad boy. Uh, what's your favorite Castlevania game, if you're watching this? Um... I don't know if you saw my last video, but I had to update my top five. But this game still stays at number two as my personal Castlevania list. Uh, number one being Castlevania Three: Dracula's Curse. This is number two. And number three is now Symphony of the Night. Uh, what a great game. I'm almost, I almost want to go play the GBA and the, and the DS uh, Castlevanias that are, you know, basically just an extension of... Uh, the Symphony of the Night success, but I ain't got that, 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 that much time on my hands. I mean, it'll probably take a little while to get this game completed, especially in the, the uh, two-stage process that we're going to do this. Oh, I forgot about these weird, those weird zombie guys. They don't show up too often in this game, I don't think. We'll, we'll see. This is the Mer people, right? If I remember correctly, I should be jumping up here soon. Or maybe I'm completely wrong. <laughs> I don't see them. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, hey, you know what, though? These birds? Dude, birds, bats, and frogs are the... To me... Oh, and, and the Medusa heads. They are the worst enemies in Castlevania. I mean, come... Oh, there, here's the frogs. Yep. They are just the worst. The bats... I mean, the whole knockback, right? You saw, the, you saw me die on, on stage one. That Medusa head knockback? God. What? I mean, that that's... You, you get into those pitfalls and you're done. I think there's something down here. It's gotta be. Yep. Wall me! I forget which game the, the manual actually has that as a pork chop, or is it like a... I don't know. It might be this one, but... It's fucking birds. Oh my god! What the hell? I was just talking about this. <laughs> oh, for god's sake. Yeah, I'll have to get better at it. I'm usually doing short plays, so I just play, like, a little bit of something and talk, but now I'm like, <laughs> this game's going to get crazy toward the end, I can tell. But yeah, what did I tell you, man? These 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 knockbacks are insane. But it makes the game fun. I mean, oh, my God. <laughs> I've died twice already. I, I honestly thought this was going to be, at least this first one was going to be a breeze. And I've already died twice. I could probably earn back some lives, though, because, again, I will be using Retro GBS in the password um, as we move forward here. <laughs> oh, the skeleton's beating my ass. Damn. Okay. Let's throw this first. Booyah. If you forget that bird is there, he, they the programmers put that bird there to kill you in the knockback. There's no doubt of it. Oh, I just, see? I just, I just got the light. just got an extra light. Now I'm at three again. I play my cards right here. See, that's what you're supposed to do right there. 
throw the uh, the boomeranging uh, cross there across bridges, and you usually can kill enemies and candles all at one shot and just keep running. I know that they set that up in Castlevania 3 a couple times like that as well. Okay, boss is... Uh, Medu oh, Medusa, of course. Just whip her. There you go. The whip, oh, like I said before, the whip. So this is a, yeah, this is a mid, oh, right. I remember this now. That, that was a middle stage boss. I actually don't think there is a boss at the end of this. Um, stick with the axe for now. Actually, I'll take whatever I can get. Yeah, that enemy's one hit right there. Um, there are these red spikes that you can't really see in the water. Well, there, there's one on the, on that stalactite or whatever that is. Uh, if you touch those, you're instantly dead, if I remember correctly. Because don't forget, in Castlevania, spiky objects kill instantly. Spikes those. Oh, right there. Jump. There we go. We got this. But yeah, you got to watch out for those. I know I this without knowing that those are going to be in the ground like that this that kills you <laughs> and so that's what playing this game for so many years gets you so yeah this game came out in 91 uh yeah wow <laughs> yeah we played the shit out of this card there's no doubt about it so and i and i again i'm playing this on the uh anniversary collection i just i think that's amazing uh what they did there with that it's great to be able to just have the HDMI coming out of the Xbox to, to capture this as well. Or else I'd be using the cart and a converter. There might be a little loss there, but I think this looks good enough. And I didn't stretch the screen. That's it! All right, that was stages one and two. Uh, we'll see you next time for hopefully stages three and four. And as Frank says, play hard.